There's a cause worth fighting for. Our families are worth fighting for. It's not easy. It's not easy to hold your family together. It's not easy to raise children in the times in which we live. Everything seems to be against the family and against the home. But when we decide that our families are a cause worth fighting for, God said, then I will fight for you. Fight for your family. Fight for your marriage. Don't give up on it. Fight for it. Fight for your wife. Fight for your husband. Fight for your sons and your daughters because Satan is on a rampage and he he wants to destroy the church, but he can't destroy the church without destroying the home. The story is told in the Northeast of a famous attorney who had an alcohol problem. He's very successful and on the way every day to his, to his law practice, he would walk on the streets of Chicago past a bar and he would slip in for a morning drink and then go on to his office and he did it every day. One day as he was walking, the snow was lightly falling. He heard a noise and turned around and he saw his little six-year-old boy. Somehow he had slipped away from his mother and slipped out of the house. And and when he looked, the little boy was putting his little foot in the big footprint of his dad. The dad had left that footprint in the freshly fallen snow. And the little boy would put his little foot in the footprint of the big steps that his dad was taking. Suddenly, as he was standing outside the door of that bar and he looked back and saw that that boy was stepping in every one of his footsteps. And he was smitten with conviction and he ran and scooped the boy up and took him home and put him in the arms of his mother and ran downstairs. And he says he fell to his knees and he began to weep and cry. And he said, oh God, help me to never ever again allow my footsteps to lead my children to a bar but let my footsteps lead my children to you enjoy your family love your family because the enemy wants to do everything he can to divide and conquer and destroy. He wants to make your family miserable. He wants to make your marriage miserable. He wants to make your relationship with your children miserable. And we are not ignorant of his devices. It's costly commitment. It costs you something to hold your family together, to hold your marriage together, to hold your children together. Don't leave it up to the preacher to save your family. Don't leave it up to the youth director or the youth program or the church or somebody else. Don't even leave it to the mother, dad, to do your praying. But get your family. I love the words of Joshua when he said, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I want to say to parents and people who are here, fight for your family. Stay in their business and stay in their lives. And when you have to stand up and correct them, correct them. If, if, if it hinders and hurts and you have all kinds of stuff going on, stand for what's right. Fight for what's right. Stand on the truth. And you know what? They may go wild. They may get crazy. They may get mad. They may go off. But if you have raised them right, if you have raised them in the house, you don't have to be a perfect family. But if you've done your best to to bring them to the house of God and to serve the Lord before them and you've done your best to have God's presence in your home and in your life there's something that gets on your family that they will never be ever, ever, ever be able to get away from. As a matter of fact, I just want to tell you, there's nothing more important than what you're doing right now. It's more important than a ball game. It's more important. We've lost that. See, we don't believe this old stuff anymore. But I'm going to tell you, beware of dangerous distractions that take you and your family away at critical times when the children need to be in the house of God. We're fighting for our families. Every time we get up and bring them to church every time we open the Bible and pray we're fighting for our families from this day forward I want to ask you a question 
Where are your footprints leading? All that's going to matter when you are, are on your deathbed is, is where did my footprints lead them? If you're leading your children to Jesus, if you're leading them to serve Him above all, prioritizing Him above all, then you're leaving the greatest legacy any parent can ever leave 